politics, entertainment stories, current affairs, and exclusive interviews. Welcome. 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 On The Buzz UG with, with Melanz Mino, Mino, a.k.a. Fula. Now, NTV Uganda's journalist Sandra Twinobrio has revealed that she survived being sexually assaulted in an elevator in uh, Istanbul, Turkey. As Sandra, through her social media platform, said uh, she was almost sexually assaulted by an officer who had offered to help find her passport she had lost as she was transiting through Istanbul. Now, after a wonderful trip in Berlin, I lost my passport as I was uh, you know, transiting through Istanbul. I still believe someone intentionally took it away from me. I was almost sexually assaulted by an officer who had offered to assist me, tried to touch me inappropriately in an elevator. At one of the restaurants in town, escargots or snails will cost you about 47,000 shillings. And I'm about to try this meal for the very first time. Delicious. Well, that is the latest update coming in from uh, the beautiful NTV Uganda's journalist, uh, Sandra Twinobrio's camp. Now, General Muhozi Kainerugaba has attacked ministers who move in convoys, accusing them of causing traffic jam in Kampala. Muhozi says it is only his father, President Museveni, who should have a convoy, but not these ministers. It should be recalled that uh, all ministers in Uganda are entitled to convoys for security purposes and are given direct way on the roads. <laughs> Bobby Wan's sister, Betty Sentamu, has lost election petition she had filed against the national resistance movement, Sylvia Nayebare. Uh, Sylvia Nayebare has been announced a duly elected member of parliament for Gomba district. Uh, court says Bobby Wine's sister Betty failed to prove in court the allegations of uh, bribery and illegal acts of uh, respondents. Betty has been ordered by court to pay half of the costs met by Slivia Nayebare while attending various court sessions. <laughs> Now, Honorable Segirinya Muhammad and uh, Alan Sewanyana appeared in Parliament yesterday and uh, were expected to make their maiden speeches probably to inform the House about their prison ordeal. But the Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Thomas Tayewa, just proceeded with the program on the order paper. Wingi the Parliament yao ngano kufula simanyi kubanzi wibanku watila. Na ni Parliament sina wako jingi ya mwja doru naku. Ida madi mwizo kusaidi ya wa minister, wana ribala ni yansigie yu. Na nganti ya au wai, tunia tuliru. Now the opposition chief whip, John Baptist Nambeshe, tried to request Tayewa to grant the members of Parliament the opportunity to make speeches on their first day of reappearing in the House. However, his request was not granted. This would be the best time for them to be accorded an opportunity to make their maiden speech or speeches. So, and the honorable colleagues, we'll get in touch with the office of the speaker because they, are, they have their full rights as honorable members of parliament and uh, we are all excited to have them back and we would want to see them speaking on the floor. So at the right time, it will be given, okay?